Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. How Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were inspired by Princess Diana to take a break from royal life. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are taking a page right out of Princess Diana's playbook. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently enjoying an extended break from their royal duties as they celebrate the holidays with her mother, Doria Ratlin, in Canada. The couple reportedly spent Christmas on Vancouver Island, which is the same place Diana and Prince Charles visited back in 1986. Princess Diana inspires Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan declined Queen Elizabeth's offer to spend Christmas at Sandringham this year. Instead, the pair wanted a break from the royal family and enjoyed the holidays with her side of the family. We do not know all of the places Harry and Meghan have visited, but they did spend a good chunk of their vacation on Vancouver Island. With Diana and Charles visiting the same area in 1986, royal experts believe she may have served as a source of inspiration. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been largely silent during their break and are reportedly enjoying some quality family time with her mom and their son, Archie Harrison. According to LMT Channel, the couple's spokesperson released a statement about their whereabouts, explaining why they chose to spend Christmas in Canada. The Duke of Sussex has been a frequent visitor to Canada over many years, and it was also home to the Duchess for seven years before she became a member of the royal family, the statement read. They are enjoying sharing the warmth of the Canadian people and the beauty of the landscape with their young son. Although the Sussexes have not made any official public appearances, they were spotted in Horth Hill Regional Park by some locals. People have spotted the couple jogging around town, and they appear to be enjoying the break. Harry and Meghan share Christmas wishes. While Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been spending a lot of time out of the spotlight, they did share a quick update on social media. The pair posted a Christmas photo of themselves posing behind their son, who looked as adorable as ever in the foreground. The photo was a rare look into the couple's private life and fans could not have loved it more. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas, their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the caption the pic. Prince Harry has a strong connection to Canada and has done a lot of charitable work in the country. This includes his annual Invictus Games, which were held in Canada in 2017. For her part, Markle lived in Toronto while starring on the popular show Suits. The two spent a lot of their early dating days in Toronto before she moved to London prior to their wedding. Inside Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's lavish Canada rental? With Harry and Meghan spending weeks in Canada, the couple made sure that they enjoyed themselves like a proper royal couple. This includes staying in a gorgeous $10 million mansion that puts most homes to shame. The estate is believed to be owned by a billionaire whose identity remains unknown. The mansion features five rooms, two beach fronts, eight bathrooms, and a three-bedroom guest home. Buckingham Palace did not reveal where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are staying due to security concerns. Neighbors, however, claim that the mansion has been blocked off in recent weeks and that they have spied Harry and Meghan in the area. We do not know when the couple will return to the United Kingdom and resume their royal duties. They have been very open about their struggles this past year, so they might extend their break for as long as possible. Whatever happens, it is good to know that Harry and Meghan are enjoying their vacation. Meghan and Harry move forward with new charity. Earlier this year, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle split from the Royal Foundation to start their own charitable organization called Sussex Royal. The couple announced the big move in July signaling a break from Prince William and Kate Middleton's charity endeavors. Although the two filed to register a trademark for their new company, 
The news was not published until a week ago. The trademark covers a wide variety of things, including published items, such as booklets and magazines, education programs, clothing lines, fundraising, and social care services. Now that they have an official trademark, Harry and Meghan can license and sell their company, and they can also take people to court who use their brand without written permission. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not commented on their newly issued trademark, but we cannot wait to see which issues their organization tackles in the coming years. Don't stop.